Hello, my name is Jeff Schneid with Diversified Fall Protection. In this video, we're going to talk about the primary differences between rigid and lifeline systems. In this illustration, we're showing the primary difference between the rigid and the lifeline systems. In a lifeline system, it requires a greater fall distance than a rigid system due to the deflection in the cable. Here we illustrate X is equivalent to the total clear distance for the fall. Your Y dimension is the actual total fall distance. In several instances, the Y dimension for the total fall can exceed the total clear dimension. In a rigid system, it's very common that your fall distance is never going to exceed the total clear distance because in a rigid system, the fall is arrested much quicker because there's no absorption to the system. In a lifeline system, there's absorption through the connection points, there's absorption through the length of the cable, there's absorption because there's typically some type of a, an external shock absorber involved which allows more slack to the cable, which all adds to the overall fall distance. One point I would like to make, on horizontal lifeline systems, you have multiple connection points along the length of the lifeline. The end connections are referred to as end anchorage connections. And then you're going to have at various different intervals what's referred to as an intermediate connection. An intermediate connection is a device that looks like this. You'll notice that there's a hole that runs through the center of the connecting point. The cable runs directly through that hole and then you have the attachment which are going to be attached to some structure above. The question that people ask is how do I, every time I come to this point, how do I disconnect and reconnect and, and utilize 100% tie-off? This is the shuttle. This is the shuttle that we are attached to that runs on the cable. You will notice that this shuttle also has a hole, but it's not a complete diameter. It's about 330 degrees. That allows the shuttle itself to attach to the cable. When you come to the intermediate connection, the shuttle will be running down the cable. It will enter into the intermediate connection and then pass directly on through to continue going through the connecting point. That is what's referred to as 100% pass-through technology. There's many different ways to address problems. There's only a few ways to address the problems correctly. 